He was full of such calmness, such normality. St. John Paul II. Most Poles knew him only from media reports. When he came to his homeland, millions wanted to listen to his homilies. He was a great man, and this greatness was manifested in humility and love for thy neighbor. This is how the Holy Father is remembered by his personal driver. He was interested in every person. There was no consideration of whether the person was a believer or a non-believer. He sacrificed time for everyone. For him, it was the person who mattered, and he was hardworking even in the car when we were driving. He was not idle. He was always reading something something. And when we were stuck in traffic caused by crowds, he was always writing something, taking notes. The Holy Father's contribution to the overthrow of communism cannot be overestimated. Historians believe that the election of Cardinal Karol Wojtyla as head of the Catholic Church and his subsequent numerous pilgrimages to the homeland gave Poles the needed hope to fight for a free Poland. He helped us become free because he himself was a free man, because who Whoever lives the gospel becomes a free man of truth, and perhaps that is why it is so dangerous for the world today. Such prophets are killed and persecuted by the world also after death. Pilgrim Pope, this is what St. John Paul II was often nicknamed. During his pontificate, he visited almost 130 countries. He wrote 14 encyclicals in which he addressed issues of doctrine of faith, organization of the church, Christian and social life. All the more reason for us to return to a teaching so fundamentally simple and so fundamentally clear, which was the teaching of St. John Paul II. For us Poles, his speeches, his apostolic journeys remain to this day a very concrete and very strong guide for times of various contemporary crises. At the beginning of March, a TVN station aired a deceitful report that put forth the thesis that Karol Wojtyła, while he was still Cardinal of Kraków, covered up pedophilia in the church. This is an attack on the symbol of the church, on the symbol of Polishness, a symbol that was synonymous with the values, history, traditions of the church, everything that Poland carried for more than 1,000 years. This Sunday, April 2nd, the first National Popal March will pass through the streets of Warsaw. The initiative is grassroots and apolitical. Anyone can take part in it. All who want him to remain an authority for Poland all who want to follow the path set by his teaching, all those who disagree with what is happening now in some media. Already declarations to come to the march are being made by people from all over the country. These include families with children, Catholic associations and patriotic organizations, including Gazeta Polska clubs. In fact, everywhere, in Słupsk, Pomerania, there is a great stir, and this defense of His Holiness will be very visible. We are are very strongly connected with our Saint John Paul II. This is the greatest authority. At this moment, we have two full buses. When today he is being dragged through the mud by those he defeated in the past, we must not remain silent. One cannot desert. The hypnosis of the hypocritical media will disappear if we are together again, as when he came to us. On Sunday, April 2nd at 11 a.m., let's meet at the Domovsky Roundabout in Warsaw.